Morning, Alan. Good morning. Yeah. I take it you're, you're just getting up to steam at the moment. We are, right? yeah. We're about 70 pounds at the moment, so we'll be just moving her into place in a few minutes or yeah. so. What, yeah. what's, what, have we got to, what have we got to get it to? Uh, we like to get her to about 100 pounds. Her, her full working pressure is 200. Oh, but, is it really? 200? Yeah, yeah, but 100 pounds, she's nice and gentle and yeah. uh, uh, nice and, and, and safe. So how long has that taken us to get it to about 100? Uh, it's taken us just over an hour at the moment now, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is our first outing this year, so, uh, oh, so we, we always go a bit steady and uh, we've just, this winter we've just put a new set of tubes in the boiler, so uh, it's the first time we've lit her up since that. Oh yes. Yeah. So we want to do it nice and gentle this nice morning. Nice and steady. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no problems? Up. You shouldn't ask that oh, question. I should ask <laughs> up to now, up to, up to now, we're fine. Well, it's a, it's a fabulous uh, looking engine. Just just tell the the, the, the viewers a little bit about it. Um, the masterpiece uh, it was uh, manufactured in 1898. Oh right. Uh, she's the oldest double crank compound showman's engine in preservation. Yes. Uh, she was delivered new to Staple Hill in Bristol to the. John Cole's family. Oh right, yeah. So in actual fact, where where I keep her now, we're only about eight miles from where she was delivered new. Right. Uh, yeah, because we're from uh, Stanton Drew. Huh. Yeah. So uh, I've had her since 1990. Yeah. And uh, we travel her all around the country to all the different venues. Uh, she was uh, rebuilt in the in the 70s uh, by a local company called uh, John Gold. Gold Brothers of Camerton. Right. They they restored her, and since I've had her, we've put uh, done some major repairs to the boiler. Uh, we've made a new tender. We've repainted her. Uh, so gen general repairs. So, yeah. So, so she's got general maintenance yeah, all the time. Yeah. To be yeah. Done to yeah. Keep yeah. Bit, yeah. To keep her up yeah. Speed. Yeah. Are they difficult to work on? No, it's just all heavy work. Like you know, it's yeah. uh, it's all basic engineering. Uh, we do everything at home. Um, you know, I got a good gang of lads that help me. Like, and, yeah. and we're all they're all sort of dedicated to, to the steam scene. Like, you know, yes. and uh, and uh, we we tend to uh, we tend to try and do everything so that we know if anything goes wrong, we yeah. know what we're, we're we're doing. Like, you know. Well, okay, let's let's just put let's put this to the viewers. If uh, if we've got enough water with us and uh, we're carrying enough coal, yep. what sort of speed could we cover? And over what sort of distance? What would they ca cover in a day? <clears throat> well, well. The, the, the masterpiece would go on the road and she and she'd do comfortably about 10 to 12 miles an hour right. um, but of course nowadays with the tarmac roads and and this is one of the few engines on uh, iron wheels still because most of them are on rubbers oh, I see. so so we don't do huge amounts of road work no. um, but uh, yeah and and uh, over a day um, yeah you could you could travel sort of 50, 60 miles comfortable yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You all sort of think of these big, big old girls as sort of, sort of 10 or 15 miles and, and, and Oh, no, drive. no, 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 no. It's, uh, yeah, you know, it's all according to what you're doing, but if you, we're always doing it leisurely, so that makes yeah. a difference. I mean, uh, this engine actually, d during the war, uh, was used for hauling stone from the Mendips to Salisbury. Oh, was and it? that was that was done for a week in week out like yeah and I've actually got lots of photographs of her doing that like you know so how, how many um, how many carriages could these pull um, normally they would have ca carried three or four carriages behind them according to what weight you had behind them yeah. it wasn't the pulling it was the stopping was the problem like you know ah, because it, yeah. you haven't got no, no brakes on them as such like you yeah. know you, you just uh, slow them down by uh, almost Basically, put them in reverse. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. You just create pressure in the in the steam chest, so yeah. that uh, you just got a back pressure and uh, just holding the pistons back, like. Right oh, now. really? Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, and so, well, I mean, what would be maximum um, that it could, that, that it could pull? I don't know if anybody's ever put that to the test, but I mean, you, was it? You, was you, 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 you pull behind her sort of uh, 20, 20 to 25 tonnes, like, oh, you know, yeah, 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 and of course, uh, when she was new, the roads were in, uh, they weren't hard tarmac Adam roads, all the roads, like, so she would get a much better traction on the old, old tracks and things, yeah, like, you know, yeah. on, on the new roads now, that's the problem with iron wheels. Going downhill, they slide on the yes, tarmac. Yeah, so you got to be you got to be careful. Yeah, I mean I've kept her on the uh, on the iron wheels simply because that's how she was originally, yeah. and I've tried to keep her in her original condition, like yeah. you know, which, which she is. She's well, absolutely fantastic on these grounds, um, and, and and a pleasure meeting you. Thank yeah, you very much indeed uh, good. for your time, no and we'll uh, and we'll come across you no doubt in the future. No doubt you will. Lovely. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers, John. Thank you. Uh,